G'day. I'm going to show you how to use classes and objects in Visual Studio, in Visual Basic, simply. I should call this Classes and Objects 1001. So here we are, Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project, Visual Basic, Windows, and Console. Next, next, .NET Core 6, that should be fine. It shouldn't matter if you're doing this in uh, .NET Framework, the older version of .NET. And this is our basic application. So what I want to do is I want to create a boolean but instead of calling it or calling the value true and false I want to call it set and reset let's just say that I'm doing something with logic gates or something and I just want to refer to it as set and reset and the other thing I want to do is I want to be able to read the value and set it in one command or read the value and reset it in one command. So if you're not sure, set and true, reset and false are basically the same thing. It's just how you refer to it depending on the application. A bit like billion can be one or zero or high or low. So the first thing I want to do is create a class. I'm going to call it my boolean. And then I'm going to have a value. As boolean. That's basically it. I've created the class or the definition of an object and then I'm going to access it. So I'll create a new variable as new my boolean. So I've got the class, I've defined the object. So the class here is the definition of the object. I have a variable in here, value, and then up down in the main, I've created a variable a saying it's equal to a new my boolean, and then if I type a and go to access the value, it will not work because this value is private, it's within scope only of the class. So, if I was to make this private, it would be the same thing. There's no value. The opposite to private is public. And now, when I look at my variable A, I will see a value here, which I can sign to true or false so I have the class my boolean which defines the object inside the class I have defined a public value which is boolean I can access that from the outside down here I've created a variable a which is of new my boolean and I can set that value of a to true or I can set the false the next thing I want to do is set the value reset the value in other words I want to say set to make the value true reset to make it false 
apparently set as a reserved word so I'm going to use underscore set underscore reset so I'm going to create a sub called set and when I call this I want the value to be true So then, down below here, I'll get rid of that last line, I should be able to type in A set. And then A will be true. So let's test that. What I'll do is on this line above, I will make this false so the idea is that in this line here a value is set to false this line here a value is set to true and then on this line here we will write out to the console a value then we'll run it f5 and there's the result true now as you can see here I have sub I don't have public or private but I can put public in front of this and then well it's the same thing I can change this to private and then I have an error because now set is not accessible because it is private let's undo that back to public or back to sub up to you so let's do the other method so these are called methods this one's going to be reset and false and I'll copy this line copy paste paste I'll move this one above here I actually might paste again and in here I'll have reset now the underscore is why I'm using the underscore is because sets a reserved word reset isn't but I've had to sort of work around it so let's run that f5 false true false so what's happened here is I've set the false I then wrote out false I then set it to true wrote out true set the false write out false which is what I've got false true false f5 false true false so let's say I wanted to read the value and then set it so I can create a function function I'll call it read and set and it will return let's say I want it to return the value set or reset so I'll have a string so for here I'm going to create a variable called s as a string and then I'm going to assign it whether it's set or reset depending on the value of value
s is equal to set else s is equal to reset values a boolean so if it's true then s is equal to set else is equal to reset then I'm going to set the value to true and return s I the return to the last statement what we'll now do is create another method I'll take the existing one set copy paste paste and this will be called reset and the only difference is this will be false so what it will do is create a variable s as string if the current value is true then s equals set otherwise s equals reset set the value to false return s from here as the old value so down below here we can replace some of these so this one here which writes out the value and then sets it we can make that we don't need this anymore we'll make this set so read set and these two here write out the value reset it read reset don't need this one here this will output reset because it's false this will output set because of this and this will output false so we get reset set false F5 reset set false at the end of the day we don't really want that and that's basically a class which we defined here my boolean this is the structure we then create the variable a which is defined as a my boolean using the new keyword which creates the object and then when we manipulate that we manipulate a value I've tried to keep this pretty basic I will probably cop some flack not making this here private and using setters and getters but I wanted it simple and that's what I've done hopefully this helps you out uh, take care see you later